Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at this uh, Canon uh, external grip <coughs> dual battery bank uh, extension that you can get for your Canon Rebel. Uh, this particular one is for my Canon T6i. Um, I really like this thing. I've had it about two or three weeks um, and it works fairly well. Uh, the build quality seems to be very good. Uh, the texture on this back rubber part here is almost identical to what comes on the Canon camera uh, and it has some additional features on here. Uh, the main reason I wanted this is because it holds two batteries instead of just a single battery that you can hold in the normal Canon inside the camera. It's got two battery banks here. Uh, you can run with one or both batteries um, depending on what you want to do. Uh, the pictures online are kind of deceiving. <coughs> Excuse me. Initially, I thought that it held a third battery here or a second battery here, but this just goes into your camera and the two batteries get loaded in this little drop door here. <coughs> and they go in just like your standard, standard batteries do in your camera. You just slide them in, close the door. Uh, it has a lot of the same buttons that the camera has. Um, so it does give extended functionality and both buttons work simultaneously, which is something that I was concerned with. Um, but with some trial and error, I discovered that uh, all the buttons on this work in addition to the buttons that are on the camera. So some of the buttons and the most unique one that I've found personally, um, and keep in mind, I'm still relatively new to uh, high-end cameras, DSLRs and things like that. So I'm still getting my feet wet. Uh, it has a second shutter release button. Um, and this one is beneficial and it, it's kind of difficult without putting it on the camera to show you. Um, but if you're going to take uh, portrait style uh, photographs, this grip actually allows you to rotate the camera 90 degrees from the, nor the direction you normally use it. And it gives you an extra grip to get hold on to the camera um, so that you don't drop it and it's not kind of cumbersome like it would be without the grip. Um, and it puts this shutter button directly on your fingers and so the ergonomics of it are very good. It puts, puts the controls right where they need to be um, when you're actually using the camera. Uh, also too, you have your uh, magnification increase and decrease buttons here. You have an on off button which turns off the battery pack itself. Uh, so it, it kind of takes the place of the on off camera mode switch on top of your camera. Uh, it has your AV button here. This is the uh, threaded uh, hand wheel. This is how you thread it into your camera, how it's secured into your camera. Um, and it does have an infrared port in the front. So if you get an infrared remote for your camera for remote shooting of pictures or uh, remote activation for video mode, things like that, uh, it does give you the IR functionality down here in addition to what comes stock on the camera. Um, not a whole lot to say about it. Like I said, the build quality is very good. It feels solid. It doesn't feel chintzy or anything like that. Uh, I paid $35 for this off eBay. Uh, got it from a U.S. seller. It was here in about three or four days. Um, overall, I'm very happy with it, and I look forward to getting some more experience with this and kind of see how it holds up. Um, I'll probably do a three- or six-month review on this in addition to these uh, K-Star batteries that I ordered with the charger, which I reviewed in another video. Um, I'll probably do the review on these at the same time because I bought them both at the same time they both arrived. And I started, I use them almost extensively or exclusively uh, in the camera. I really don't think I use the single battery very much just because I like having the additional capacity with me. Uh, if I want to shoot longer videos or if I shoot a YouTube video and then want to go out and take pictures or whatever, uh, I have that power available and I don't have to stop and recharge my batteries or make sure that I have a fresh set of batteries with me. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them below. I'll try and get them answered. Uh, other than that, check out some of my other videos I'm putting out. I'm still new to YouTube, so if you got any uh, comments or concerns or suggestions, I'd be more than happy to, to take any advice I can get. Uh, other than that, let me know what you think below, and we'll see you next time.